Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. When we last took a look at Palm's app catalog, Dupree had just launched, it was still in beta, and was limited to only just about 20 applications. A lot's changed in the few months since Dupree launched, the Pixies come out, and the app catalog now has many, many more applications, although it is still technically in beta, as you can see from the big beta ribbon up at the top. But I wanted to show you some of the new applications that have made its way into the Palm's app catalog, and to see what you can expect if you're looking to pick up a Pre or a Pixie. All applications will work on both devices. So first, one of the things that you'll notice, and I'll show you in just a minute, you have the ability to buy applications. Before, it was everything was free. There are now uh, paid applications that developers can create. In order to buy them, you need to have a credit card attached to your Palm profile. Just a bit of a heads up. So when you launch the application, this is what you're going to see. You get a list of featured across the top, and there's a few kind of fun ones here. There's a flight wave, a Twitter application, a mall application, some flashcards. You can search whatever you'd like. Now it's changed a little bit. The categories initially were shown right below, but now you have to hit explore to see what the categories are. And I'll show you what some applications they have in here and what you can expect. So the categories are now broken down into books, business, education, entertainment, finance, food, games, health and fitness, lifestyle and music, navigation, news, photography, productivity, reference, social networking, sports, travel, and weather. A lot more categories because there are a lot more applications than when we last take a look at it. So let me show you some of these and show you what you can expect. One of the things that I knocked the pre for was the app catalog. I thought it was a great feature and had a lot of potential, but there was nothing in it. Well, that's sort of been remedied and there's a lot more uh, coming, at least according to Palm. Let's take a look here at entertainment, because everybody likes to be entertained. And this still makes me laugh. Adult entertainment. And it's not what you'd expect. <laughs> Although it was the first thing I clicked on. So there are no applications found there, but it's funny that they leave list a category for that. So to go back, we'll just swipe back in this gesture area. We'll take a look at all and see if they have entertainment category. So a lot of games, board, fortune ball, fandango, and most of these applications um, are free, although some here look like they are going to cost you a bit of money. They're going to range anywhere from 99 cents up to uh, 10 or 20 bucks, and there are some that really, uh, really do cost a few bucks. Although what you can get here that you can't get with, say, uh, the iPhone, for example, you can get a full working version of Google Voice, which is quite nice. So I'll kind of scroll through here so you can see what the applications are. And of course, what App Store or App Catalog would be complete without a few fart applications. So there is, of course, PFART. Snow Globe, and some of these probably shouldn't cost as much as they cost, and you can see they've been rated one star or less. So we'll go back and take a look at some of the other categories we have here. Let's go to games. I play a lot of games on my phone. It's nice to have the option on the Palm WebOS devices as well. And this is just pulling all this in over the EVDO network uh, for Sprint because the Pixie does not have Wi-Fi. You can see how fast this will load, and I've got a pretty decent Evdo connection right there. I've got uh, four out of five bars, so not too shabby. And I'll let you see this in real time, how long it takes things to, to load, or, or in this case, not seem to load. Here we are, so here are the games. Let's take a look at all of them and see what we have. When I first had the pre, the only game that was available was a demo of Connect 4, and I loved it. I played Connect 4 all the time. So there is Jesus Quiz, uh, Christmas. Looks like somehow I managed to get into the religious games. Um, topple Ball, more Bible trivia, uh, Pegged, some zombie invasion games, Lights. I mean, there's a ton more here. I'll let you kind of look at them as I scroll through than what was there before. So if you're worried about jumping over to a Pre or a Pixie because of the lack of apps, you need not worry. There are a ton available now and there are much more coming, especially as the app catalog slowly comes out of beta. So guys, I want to give you a demonstration of what the Palm app catalog looked like so you can see on your own if it's something that you're interested in. And there's the icon for the app catalog in the upper left-hand corner. I'm very impressed with it. Things work very well. You just hit download, downloads and installs, um, just as you would expect. And it does it relatively quickly. Hope you enjoy, guys. For exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash john4lakers. And to learn everything you want to know about technology, check out technobuffalo.com. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.